All right, I'm just going to start solving stuff. I don't know if I'm going to talk that much, but um, yeah, here we go. There's uh, 45 newtons or 45 pounds of force on the top there. And we'll start with the pivots. So if I pivot around A, there's a force at E. So the moment due to the force at E that would want to rotate in the negative direction and so that means the moment due to the force at C has to counteract that so it has to be positive so they're opposing each other the moment due to the force at E I guess I should write down the distances alright all this stuff was just from the packet the those measurements so and then this I made up that's gonna be different for you guys because you're gonna use the one that you measured when it broke and then uh, yeah moment due to the force at E that's uh, force times the perpendicular distance that's what the moment is so the force would be 45 for E and the perpendicular distance would be 5 and that's gotta equal the moment due to the force at C and, well, I guess I'll draw my joints. Alright, so there we go. Um, I know that this is a positive moment, so it's going that way. So this has to point upwards. So there's a reaction force there, and it's pointing upwards. There's only a single reaction force there. There's two possible reaction forces here. Uh, this one's actually zero newtons just because there's no other external horizontal force so there you go zero newtons it doesn't say on it says zero newtons um, this has to be pointing upwards we're good and that would be a force uh, well that's R C Y times the distance of 9.75 newton inches that's not a standard unit but I'm just gonna leave it and then I have, what, divide both sides? So, there's our CY. Now I'll pivot, maybe I'll box this off so it's a little bit more organized. And now I'll pivot about C. So that means, if I'm pivoting about C, this would be a, like the force at E creates a positive moment and the force at A has to counteract that so that would be pointing upwards and that's gonna be a negative moment that's due to the force at A so they're equal to each other ME well if this is 9.75 and this is 5 that means this is 4.75 so then I take 4.75 times the force, which is just R-A-Y, right? Oh, no, 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 no. That's this distance and that force, right? So it's 45 newtons times the 4.75. And that must equal the moment due to the force at A. Well, that's 9.75 times R-A-Y because we have this force and this perpendicular distance and that creates the moment you divide both sides by 9.75 again you know what I just noticed, I put this into MD solids just to check my work and of course I'm right but uh, from the picture in the packet they tell you that these are 31 but they're not actually 31 of course they can't be 31 if this whoops if we have this being different than this but the same height there of course these are going to be different so and they are um, so I'll, I'll just find them when I need to so there we go R A Y R C Y and we already have R A X I'm gonna write down my list now over here so there's my list and here I go um, what what next oh I choose a joint 
So there's there's that. Now I gotta choose a joint to work on. I'm gonna I'm gonna choose this. It seems the easiest. So joint A, because there's only two unknowns, right? And actually, this has to be zero. Sweet. So joint A. This is zero newtons, and it's in the only force in the x direction. So this has to also be zero newtons. And that mean what was that? That's the force within AB. So F A B equals zero newtons. Sweet. So it's neither in tension nor compression. And this has to be pointing downwards to counteract this. So and that's uh D A D. F A D has to be twenty one point nine two three newtons because it has to counteract that the other y force what, what, what do we say a d and that is well it has to be pointing down so this has to be pointing down this has to be pointing upwards and that means it's under compression it's pushing out on those joints so it's under compression box this off and continue on. I think I'll work on joint D then because I know I mean well I don't know let's see joint D since the this is also the force within AD we already know it uh, and it's 21.923 newtons and since this is pointing up uh this doesn't have any y component so this is the only thing that has a y component the y component must be pointing downwards to counteract this so that means this force must be pointing downwards okay uh and this y component must be the same as this. There's only two y components, so they have to counteract each other. So what is that? That's uh, db in the y direction. So f fdb or fbd y has to be 21.923, and uh, it has to be going downwards. I need this angle. Right, because if I want to find the hypotenuse, I need that angle. So I go to my picture, and I find that angle, because those angles are the same. So I'll draw a triangle just to find that angle. So I'm trying to find that angle right now. And that angle, well, this was 3 inches tall, and this was 5 inches so we'll find that angle by using tangent. I'm going to call this angle theta and I'll say tangent of theta equals well that's opposite